everyone, my name is Brandon Levine, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over uh, the adaptive form fragments and how to use them within our form. So let's get started. So an adaptive form fragment is basically a reusable piece of content that we can use across all of our forms. So let's say we know we're going to need a specific type of field, so let's say a phone number field on maybe several forms. So Instead of having to recreate that phone number field every time we make a new form, we can simply create that phone number field once within the, a adaptive form fragment and then simply apply that form fragment to uh, the form we're going to use that uh, field on. So in order to create the adaptive form fragment, I'm going to come up here and select the adaptive form fragment. And we'll call this a phone number field. I could even specify and call it US phone number field. And then we'll go ahead and create this, click Edit. All right, since I'm, this is going to be a phone number field, I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to use a text box. And then I can go ahead and modify it here. Um, so I'll give it the attributes I want for this field. Um, we can make this a required field. I feel like it might be necessary, especially since, you know, you can use a phone number field or use a phone number to contact somebody. And we'll go ahead and give it a pattern as well. All right, so my form fragment has been uh, created. And now, in order to use them on a form, um, I'm going to close out of this. And then I will uh, go ahead and create a new adaptive form. Do a blank one and call this YouTube form. All right, in order to add in that form fragment we just uh, created, I can go over to this assets tab and then I can search for it or I can use some filters and search for my adaptive form fragment. And we can see we have this US phone number field right here. And I can simply just drag and drop it over to my form and now it's on our form. Um, one thing I want, to, I want to point out is that we cannot edit the phone number field directly on the form. We would have to go back to the source form fragment and uh, make a change. But do note, um, if you make a change here, it's going to be uh, applied to all of the forms this form fragment is on. So you might want to create a variation of this uh, fragment in case we need to make a specific just adjustment. All right. And then, so if I go to preview, it's not going to look like that gray box. It'll actually just contain that phone number field we just typed out. So validation should work, should display correctly, and it does. Awesome. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.